Welcome back, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Dagosity. Welcome back to another Reddit reaction. Today we're going over r slash multiverses the game. That's right, there's another multiverses discord and I didn't know about that. I've been reading the smaller one. Let's go in the new category. Sages I would like to see in multiverses. Sector V Treehouse. Oh, Sector 5. Oh, from Codename's Kid Next Door, right? The cul-de-sac from, uh, I'm assuming, Ed and Eddie. Dexter's Laboratory would be lit. Hogwarts would be awesome. Sheldon's house would be okay, I guess. <laughs> the Dom Ball Court. I forget what that is. Camp Wa Wawanaka? Isn't that Camp Laszlo? Or am I dumb? Or is, oh, is that Total Drama Island? I don't care. Fortress of Solitude. That's Superman, obviously. No one commented on that. That's a damn shame. Female character wish list. Supergirl, Gwen Tennyson, Dorothy. I can't pronounce that. Oh, that's my phone. Chun-Li, Laura Croft. Laura Croft would be interesting. She-Ra, Cat, cat, cat Women. There's old Cat Women. There's Cat Women, like from uh, Cats, that movie or something. I don't know. Calamity Jane, Betty Boop, <laughs> Daphne Blake, and Starfire. Uh, the people from that that I would want would be Gwen Tennyson and Starfire and maybe Laura Croft. Let's go to the hot section because there's uh, the new is pretty much just people complaining about the release date and random shit like that. For people who played the, wow, this is new still. For people who played the alpha, who would you say is the best in the game? This will be interesting. 84 replies, interesting, interesting. Finn, I'd also say Finn. Attacks with good range, ridiculous frame data, and the boots of invincibility. <laughs> His up special also had good kill power. There's nothing that he couldn't do. Finn was pretty crazy. Finn was kind of dirty, but also so much fun, I agree. I honestly hope they can balance him out correctly so I can play him without fear of huge nerfs. Okay, do you think he's the best for solo or duo? He was pretty good in solos from what I remember. Duo probably as well. I mean, he's an assassin, so solo and duo, is, his job is pretty much the same. Just kill, all right? He is indeed getting nerfed. Harley Quinn was also top tier in the alpha. Seems like she's getting slightly nerfed, but she'll probably still remain a top pick. Batman was very fun, but it's extremely weak. Luckily, he's getting a lot of buffs in the open beta. They'll hopefully, that'll hopefully make him a lot better to play. Hopefully she doesn't get nerfed to the, ugh. Hopefully she doesn't get nerfed too hard. I don't play as her. But she was very good, but not broken. I'm just hoping PFG lets some people be top tier without nerfing them because if they get nerf heavy, it can get annoying. I agree. Okay, the general consensus is that Finn and Harley were broken. <laughs> oh my God, people don't like the fast characters. That's crazy. Was number one on ladder multiple times in highest ranked area. Here's my list, Jake with lag. Nothing is even close to this. If the connection is weak, Jake will dominate without trying. His stretchy punch hitbox comes out before the animation can finish. And since he can delay it, you have to guess. There's no skill involved. It's just a guess game. And But because there isn't a block, you either outrange it or can't punish it. Get hit, which loses neutral. Or you dodge through and have a small window for a hard to convert punish. Harley. People are going to take offense to this, but Harley players need to get better? Oh, jeez. This character has an insane amount of tools which go entirely unused. Her fair, even on good connections, comes out a frame on frame zero to two. Yes, frame zero. The hitbox will connect before the animation even starts. It also combos into jab, which combos into everything else. Her Nair is possibly the best approach tool in the game and is the single best offstage attack. She also has ranged pressure with Dare Perk, Bat Doll, and a lesser extreme side B. Harley wins every matchup in the game in 1v1 currently and is easily the best aggressive partner in 2v2. I didn't get to play the game enough to really agree or disagree with that, but uh, Harley does seem pretty good. Finn, but they're probably gonna overcorrect him, so be wary. He was top tier in all three tests, but people didn't figure it out till test three. 
it really comes down to his amazingly dishonest hitboxes, which were said to be fixed. Velma, though littered with bugs, which made her range even better, that will be fixed and perks will be reworked, Velma's fair, flashlight, is the single best move in the game. It's absolute. it's absurdly fast, does average damage and combos into itself and is a huge kill threat off stage. Her dare and up air are long range and kill early. She's also currently the best support. This man has a lot to say, holy shit. Dead last, Jake on Ian. Oh, dead last, Jake on LAN. That's not Ian, LAN. Dead last, <laughs> Jake on LAN. Lamau, all your shit moves are slow and now, they, now that they come out honestly, I can just dodge and kill you. Go lay down, idiot. <laughs> <coughs> Someone got washed by some jigs in Alpha. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little upset. Beat all the jigs I played, but I lost the one on West Coast 4 to 2. Very frustrating. Only time I got mad when losing. I'm hoping all jigs get last at Evo. Jeez, man. Fair enough, fair enough. Velma Aerial Up B was also absurd with the insane hitbox, the ability to spike and apply stacks of weekend. <laughs> OP character, can't wait till she's gutted. I'd say the best in Alpha was Taz, cause his spin move was super easy to spam and on PS4 he could turn invisible. Offline mode and story mode found in the game files. We're pogging! I, dude, I want the story mode to be like Subspace Emissary, that would be so sick. Just make it like modern day Subspace. Make it modern, like what World of Light should have been. And I'm not putting Smash Ultimate down. For what it was, World of Light was fine. The game itself is fantastic. Like, you know, there's already so many characters in the game having a story mode, you know, a good story mode would have been just having your cake and eating it too, honestly. If Multiverses Leaks is right, I'm very scared history will repeat itself. Code? Anyone selling? Got, co <laughs> got scammed? Codes? 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 Early access? Codes? <laughs> Here it comes! <laughs> yeah, I would I literally, when I was streaming it, every two seconds, someone came in asking for codes. I'm like, I'm sorry, dude. I can't. I don't have codes. Someone replied to my post. Did it get, did it get removed? No, it didn't. I lost a community karma? Someone, someone downvoted it? What? Who would downvote this? What's wrong with you? I'm downvoting your comment. Now, you know what? It's fine. I don't, I, I, I have no proof. I lost karma because I posted this. People are freaking no, no sense of humor, dude. No sense of humor. Absolutely no sense of humor. What character do you think will go under the radar for a lot of people? I think Garnet will go under the radar. I'm gonna lab with her since I only played like three or four games with her. I watched clips of people that were good with her in alpha and ended up seeing stuff that was insane. That's not exactly what he said, but I wanted to make the sentence coherent and I fumbled the bag halfway through the sentence. <laughs> Steven and Garnet have both been underplayed. Steven isn't straightforward, requires a lot of knowledge and skill, is insanely good in the right hands. I've seen some crazy Stevens. I agree. The, I kind of figured the Steven Universe characters would be like the least played. I thought Rhyme Dog would be, but it, a lot of people seem to like Rhyme Dog, you know, since he's a new, it's a new character. Like at least Steven Universe has a fan base. I know a lot of people don't like it's very a lot of people don't like the show including myself despite me watching the whole series i watched every single episode of steven universe i used to like it and then halfway through the show i'm like wait this show sucks but i'm gonna keep watching <laughs> garnet low-key top tier doubles character during alpha i think people's bias against steven universe as a series made them not want to try her Garnet's like my only, the one of few characters I like from the show, so that's why I, I bought her with the coins. But if you got her sequence down with the right teammate, you could throw down hard. Singles, she was pretty good too. Some matchups were not the best, but I'd say she's still pretty high tier. <laughs> why do people have a bias against Steven Universe? Oof, basically everything about the series, movie and sequel series, are polarizing for many reasons. I like to show up to the last season where they start revealing big stuff and cr confronting big characters. Never saw the movie, never saw Steven Universe Future. You lucky son of a bitch. <laughs> but I probably will at some point. On both sides of the Steven Universe, Steven Universe bad, Steven Universe good discourse, much is vitriol bad faith, and much is objective informed critique. Dicey judging something by its fan base, but that's factors in it too. Ultimately, I treat SU 
with death of the author and keep the emotionally charged opinions at arm's length because I got tired of people yelling at each other. It's a good show though, and though the fan base is terrible, I like the, it's like every other fan base in the world. I disagree with you. I disagree with you. The writing's terrible. <laughs> the writing's awful. They redeem space Nazis. They were literally worse than Hitler. Do you understand that? The diamonds are literally, literally worse than Hitler. Not just as bad. They were worse. They killed entire planets, man. They enslaved and murdered entire planets. And, and to top that off, he, they also pulled the Hitler and experimented on the people that they enslaved with the cluster. Those things aren't dead. Those people aren't dead. Their minds are shattered for all of eternity, jumbled together with other uh, consciousness is, is of other people in an endless like void of just confusion and not knowing your own existence. They put them into a literal hell and they're like, oh, yeah, no, you're fine. We're friends with the main character now because uh, it's it's our dead daughter. That's not dead. Also, they made it, you know, the, the the big reveal, the big twist of the series. Also, Steven Universe future was just just embarrassing. Oh, no, Steven has PTSD. Oh, he only it just had to take a while to develop. You know, now that he's fine, he has PTSD, not for the years of him dealing with catastrophic, horrible events. Oh yeah, after years of uh, not having to deal with it, now it starts popping up because he doesn't have anyone else to help. Oh, and how do they solve it? How do they solve him turning into a literal kaiju because of the PTSD? They hug him and tell him they love him and that they're there for him. The show has bad writing, okay? It sucks. Good premise, fun characters, inconsistent animation, bad writing. Okay, next. <laughs> Next. Steven Universe probably is the most going for him in terms of costumes. This is going to be... These are just some I'd love to see. Steven with two on his cheeks. Steven with three on his cheeks. Steven with four on his cheeks. That's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. Could Pepe Le Pew be a Looney Tunes fighter? You know what? Yes. I'm voting yes. Damn, it's even. <laughs> While I'm sure they could make a fighter out of pretty much anyone, I'd imagine Pepe is pretty far down the list of Looney Tune characters. Yeah, no, I agree with that. I think he's making a joke because they, um, I, it, it's cause he, they're making a joke, uh, cause you know, in Space Jam 2, they removed Pepe Le Pew cause they're like, oh my God, he's such a terrible character. He's a, uh, you know, he does bad things to ki uh, uh, women, but it's like in the show, it's portrayed like his actions of being like a little too touchy feely and kissy as bad. Like as a kid, you know what he's doing is wrong. It's portrayed very clearly in the show. So why can't he be in the movie that he was a part of the first time? And to add to that, I'm pretty sure there's an episode with Pepe Le Pew in it where a woman does the same thing to him. And then he realizes what he's been doing this whole time was bad. So what the hell? He had a whole ass character arc and you won't let him in the movie? That's kind of cringe, bro. It's a fucking, he's a, he's a skunk, right? He's just a, a, a sk or a cat. I don't care. It doesn't matter. None of it matters. Absolutely no chance. Pepe was removed for Space Jam 2. He's no longer the love struck skunk who crushes on the black cat. In 2022, Pepe has been viewed as a pervert and you know, the bad word I can't say because of demonetized. That does not receive the consent and his victims. It was always viewed as that. That was the entire point of his character. By the way, I grew up with Pepe and found entertainment in his character, but I will bet we will never receive the new media of Pepe unless it's a complete overhaul of his character. It's weird. It's a kid. Pepe skips were funny because he mistakenly crushed on the black cat and not a skunk. But I guess more recently, we see that people point to his actions as, but as a kid, you don't pick up on that. No, you do pick up on that. You do pick up on that. I don't know how you didn't pick up on that, but most people picked up on that. That's the whole point of the, that's the whole joke. That's the whole joke, dude. That Pepe, Pepe was, you know, that was inappropriate. That was his whole joke. 
Cringe. It's unfortunate. He was supposed to be a hopeless romantic kind of character, but he's seen as a SA. And in hindsight, I can pick up on that. But your point is child gonna think what a goofy skunk for loving a cat. And people completely missing the point. <laughs> I think, yeah, as the top comment says, he could totally be a fighter, but due to his reputation, it's a mega unlikely because he's he's getting a rebounding. Yeah, um, that's the whole point of the post, I'm assuming. He's being funny because he's, you know, ah, let's bring in Pepe Le Pew. They wouldn't let him in the Space Jam too, You know, because it's funny. They canceled the skunk and took him out of the movie because he, he it, the, they didn't get the joke. Obviously, the behavior of Pepe Le Pew is not tolerated. That's, again, you know, context. I do not support any of that. You know, touching women without their consent, obviously. And so does the show. That was the whole point of the show. <laughs> All right, we're moving on. I got I got to stop. I got to stop talking. Mul Top 50 Multiverses Wants template, courtesy of Dealer Delicious. I see Godzilla and King Kong right down there. Shrek, Astro Boy, Goku, let's go. Scorpion Sub-Zero, I want. Uh, Freddy Krueger would be awesome. Let's see who else all the other ones are either probably gonna get in or you know, whatever <laughs> What which data mine characters are you going to main if you count scorpion will be my main alongside the Joker Raven probably gonna play bugs Raven as far as characters here are confirmed depending on how he plays Rick really hoping for a trapper semi random almost false like gameplay his entire moveset was leaked a while ago well, I didn't see the leak, but I would love for Rick to be like that guy said, a trap and also just have like a bunch of random components like um, not super random, but, you know, like hero from uh, Smash. All right. This video has gone on long enough. Please hit the like button. Please subscribe. Check out my Discord. Check out my Twitter. Check out my Instagram. It's all in the bottom. Uh, subscribe and do that stuff again. Do it again. Press the bell. Do all that stuff. Please, please. Help the algorithm help me. I upload every day. I want to I want to be the best there ever uh, could be. All right. I love you.